Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. I wanted to show you some um, King James scriptures in other languages. I know that may sound like a contradiction, but these are scriptures put out by the Trinitarian Bible Society, TBS, which is a big King James received text. Um, Bible Society, and so these are what passes their test for King James versions. Now, it, you know, it may not be word for word, but it's going to be the text now received by all that was in basically all languages all around the world till modern textual criticism kicked in. So, um, on the page you just saw, you've got the uh, Koine Greek New Testament and uh, Hebrew Greek Bible I've done a review on all those and then Amharic for Ethiopia Arabic Bible Arabic New Testament Arabic Gospel of John and then we're gonna have some other languages here and so these would all meet their criteria for being King James and other languages or at least the closest thing to the King James. When they started in 1831, it was founded for the circulation of Protestant or uncorrupted versions of the Word of God. So, you know, a lot of people just talk about KJV only and all these weird things and I'm like, I don't even really comprehend. I, I know they mean it in a perjurative sense. I know they're attacking me when they say that. I'm just like, no, if you got one of these, I mean, it's it's going to be, you know, scripture. Uh, German, Greek, Hebrew, Hungarian, Italian. I notice they've got a Hebrew New Testament. You know, some Jewish folks might want to learn about Jesus. I remember my brother-in-law was telling me about a Jewish guy that uh, was interested in Jesus. So he started reading the New Testament. He's like, man, he's nothing like I thought he was. <laughs> and uh, had several pertinent views. And like John Boyce, one of the King James translators, had read the Hebrew New Testament th through by the time he was five years old. So you can see there's several, and there's many more than this as well. This is just what TBS currently distributes. Which now, you know, I'm not Trinitarian. I believe in the oneness of God. I believe in the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. I believe Father, Word, Holy Ghost, all on and so forth. I just think the term Trinitarian is not a biblical term. Persons in reference to is not a biblical term. First, second, third person, co-equal, co-eternal. Uh, on and on. None of these things are biblical terms, so I think we should use biblical terminology in explaining who God is the best we can. So one is used many thousands of times, either specifically or implied in reference to God. So I think one or oneness, one God, all of those would be good. And still believing in the deity of Jesus and Christ, not being Unitarian or Arian, anything such as that. So this is to promote Bible translations which are accurate and trustworthy, conforming to the Hebrew Masoretic text of the Old Testament the Greek text or Receptus in the New Testament. So just looking, you know, you got Spanish, Shona, Russian. We had a Russian young lady get the Holy Ghost, get baptized in Jesus' name in our church in McDonough. She'd translate books into Russian to try to help the Russian people. I think she's still living for God. Let's hope. Praise God. And then Turkish, Ukrainian, and Welsh here. Which I was thinking if the Lord ever gives me the money, I might would like to get that Welsh Bible just to, to read it. So... You know, I, I just wanted to show you what goes basically for King James scriptures in other languages. There may be some very slight nuances and variations, but they would be very, very slight. So, God bless. Word of God to everybody. Everybody needs the Bible. Wish you had the money to get the Bible to the world. God's got the money. He can do it. God bless you in Jesus' name.